Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. Uh, we are in Trans Central Highway and we're experiencing a little bit of a fog. So, if you're like me who likes to scroll through YouTube and watch your idols like Team Sky, Jan Frodeno, Sebastian Kinley, Patrick Lang doing this sort of fasted ride. So, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Stick to this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I will show you how to do a fasted ride. Ciao. Hi, good morning. So today, I'm gonna teach you how to do a ride or how to do a fasted ride. First off, we're gonna have to get some good coffee. So here are the things that you will need. You will need coffee. I will tell you about this later. Um, noon tablets. Uh, this contain one gram of sugar per one tablet, so that's very low. I actually have a Vitargo powder in my keg, and there's water there that I put noon tablets. Um, I'll tell you about the coffee just after I finish this one. So why would you want to use the noon tablet? Um, first off, it's high in, um, it's concentrated in electrolytes, but it's uh, very low, almost no sugar. So you will need this in fasting because uh, you can't take Gatorade or any of those sports drinks because it's very high in sugar. It's gonna spike up your insulin. So it will trigger an insulin response and it's gonna break your fast. So you need this one because it's, there's almost no sugar in it and uh, it will provide you the electrolyte that you need for the ride. So uh, this is the unfortunate situation if you don't start your ride really early here in Cebu. Traffic. So, before I talk to you about the benefits of intermittent fasting and how to incorporate it in your long ride, basically doing a fasted ride, I want to talk to you about the coffee. So basically, you would want to drink coffee because one, it makes you feel satiated. So meaning, you wouldn't feel as hungry as you should be. Second, it's a very good um, thermogenic aid. Meaning, it will help you burn fat, burn those unwanted fats. So basically, you're... you're you're doing a ride with no food in your system, you would want to burn your fats as a source of fuel. Lastly, it will make you feel very sharp. Your brain functions a little bit better if you're drinking coffee. So that's definitely a plus. You would want to be sharp while riding a bike, so. So first on the list will be the obvious fact of that you will be losing weight. You know, in general, losing weight is good. The general public can lose weight. Most of us can lose a pound or two, maybe more. So that's one of the main reasons why you should do, you should do a fasted ride. The second benefit would be for health reasons. Uh, when you do a fasted ride, your body will dig into your stored fats and stored glycogen. Meaning, if you're someone with high cholesterol and high sugar, you will benefit from doing this because um, uh, your, your system will burn through your unwanted cholesterols and sugars in your body to make it as fuel for your ride. So, into the more serious stuff, the one that you are waiting to hear, performance okay so how does a facet ride helps me improve my race day performance uh, so basically 
triathlon is an endurance sport. At the back end of the race, especially if you're doing a 70.3, that last 10K, you'll be running out of sugar in your body. So it's basically a race of who's slowing down the least. And if you can tap into your fat stores, then you, you, if you can tap into your fat stores during the race, that sugar will deplete slower, meaning you will be stronger at the back end of your race. So let's go down into the more serious stuff. Performance, um, uh, growth hormone. No, we're not doping. Uh, basically, when you sleep, your body will produce, will naturally produce growth hormone. And when you wake up, that production slows down. And when you start to eat, that hormone or production of that hormone will stop. So what you do, or basically the point of intermittent fasting, is you skip the breakfast. That's why it's called breakfast, because you break the fast. You skip that, and then you will prolong your body in producing growth hormones. And if you're doing what we're doing now, we are basically training while fasting, that growth hor hormone will help you adapt into the training that you will be doing. So, that will be very big gains in your training. So why would you want more growth hormone in your system? Ask any doper in the gym and they'd be, they'd be able to tell you why. But no, with intermittent fasting, we're producing our growth hormones naturally. That's the beauty of it. So why? Why do I want more growth hormones in my system? Basically, growth hormone is also known as the fountain of youth. It makes you feel and look younger. Also, it helps you stay lean, meaning you'll develop more muscles and you'll be able to burn fat. So the more you have it in your system, the leaner you are. So, if you noticed, as people age, they, they become more susceptible to obesity. That's because their growth hormone production has significantly dropped, especially if they don't know how to do fasting. So two hours and 30 minutes into the ride, uh, just this big, just this big climb to conquer before our first speed zone. Um, how am I feeling? Uh, just a little bit hungry. Surprisingly, I have done this session for quite a number of times, so I'm used to this. I definitely don't uh, recommend doing a fasted ride for three hours straight, straight away. So. You would want to ease into things, start with 30-40 minutes, progress to an hour, and then two hours, and then three hours, and then when you get to the three hour mark, try to progress the intensity of what you can do while riding fasted. So how to properly do it? Um, I ate my last meal or my dinner yesterday at around 5 30 p.m. and I should be eating by 9 30 a.m. today that's 16 hours so the beauty of it is actually that the deeper you are into the fast while doing training is the more benefit that you will get the more fat burn you will get the more adaptations you will get from the training and from the cleansing side of it your body is burning through 
bad cells in your body. Some even will use extreme fasting to treat cancer, believe it or not. I'm gonna put the uh, links in the description below in this video. So do definitely check that out. But we are trying to do fasting as a performance enhancer. So on my very first feed, what I actually will take is a, a drink mix of Vitargo. Why? Because it's what they call fast fuel. So it gets in your system right away. I would want to ride the second half of this ride with quality. So I want to have some glycogen in my muscles. And then we're gonna eat some treats as well. So just to fill in the stomach and then to have more carbohydrates for later so what basically the Bitargo does is it's a fast fuel so it's fuels you right away and then you eat some other form of carbohydrates for later So, I just had my first feed. So as I've said, I consume Vitargo uh, so that I will have fuel right away or I will have accessible carbohydrates right away in my system. And then I ate some bibingka, Filipino rice cakes, and then some bananas. Those carbohydrates will still be digested in my stomach and those carbohydrates will be available for later. Uh, still halfway through the ride. So, uh, this is Buku Buku Sa Anay and it's 27% grade climb. We're turning around 350 watts, still moving very slow. Almost there.
are a little over four hours into the ride. One thing I forgot to mention is that one benefit of doing fasted rides is this is just the sole convenience of it. Uh, in the morning, you don't have to fiddle around the kitchen to prepare for breakfast. You just need coffee, no sugar, no cream, and then you're good to go. So we are at the top of Buak. That actually is Cebu City. Um, basically, we're, we're done with the ride, but I'm feeling courageous today. Uh, so we're, uh, we are doing a bonus climb and we are climbing up to top. up we are at the skyline Columbari uh, you see behind me and that is a view of Cebu City so I just want to give you a run through with the benefits of intermittent fasting and incorporating it in your training so first off it's for cleansing and pur for purifying your body it's for health purposes um, it basically lowers down your blood cholesterol and then your blood sugar uh, next is uh, for weight loss. Definitely, uh, everyone's after weight loss nowadays. Um, number three is uh, your increased production of growth hormone. I have discussed it during the ride. And um, another thing is that you're teaching your body to utilize and metabolize fat during the race, so you will go harder for longer. So definitely a plus plus. And uh, my personal favorite is just the convenience of it. Uh, you just drink coffee before you ride and then off you go. Too fucking close. Ah. So we are now in Metro Cebu, basically the end of the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please do support my channel and give me a subscribe. See ya! <laughs>